gets a tail of the tape with his featherweight bout scheduled for three rounds. Jung, the Korean zombie, 23 years of age, 5'7", 146, his reach 72 inches. George Roop, 28, 6'1", 145, an identical reach. We are set to go. We set it inside. Bruce Buffer has our official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the WEC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Good man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record. Ten wins, seven losses, one no contest. Standing six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Tucson, Arizona, George Poop. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record, 10 wins, 2 losses, standing 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds, fighting out of Pohang, South Korea, the Korean Zombie, Chen Sung-jong! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the cage, Tom Johnson. George. All right, gentlemen, I want a good, clean fight. Listen to me at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Chan, any questions? George, questions? Touch up. Let's fight, guys. So we are set to go three rounds in the featherweight division. George Money Roop taking on the Korean Zombie. And I'll tell you what, for a guy who's relatively new to the USA, are you ready, Jung has quite ready, a George, following. Yeah, he does. I'm seeing these Korean zombie shirts everywhere. And hey, if you put on a fight like you did in this last fight against Leonard Garcia, then you're going to have a following, because that, in my opinion, is fight of the year. George Roop certainly has the height advantage at six feet, one inches tall. The question will be, can he use those angles to neutralize Jung? Yeah, what a tall 145-pounder. Can he uh, find a home for his jab and really establish his jab like Hominick did in the last fight and kind of use that to set up his other strikes? Well, just give you an idea of what a great fight it was when Jung took on Leonard Garcia. Both guys went at it for three full rounds. Yeah, both guys just standing in the pocket, both throwing power punches at the same time, just swinging, giving the fans what they love to see. And that's what uh, the Korean zombie Chan Sung does. He's more of an entertainer. He's not so much concerned with win. He wants to put on a show, which uh, you know may not be the smartest thing for your record, but boy, it makes the fans happy. And we hear he's got a good excellent ground game, but uh, he prefers just to slug it out like this. You know, on the way into the ring, he was holding like a severed, like dummy foot, like a, a leg, and I wonder if that was kind of uh, his way of saying he's gonna try to get this fight to the ground and go after one of those long legs of George Roop and uh, maybe tap him out with a footlock. Right now, he just seems content to just walk forward and throw some big leather at George Roop. Yeah, he seems content being himself, his usual Korean zombie self. Looks like he just wants to cut forward and cut down the tree that is George Roop at 6-1. Oh, nice uppercut there. He's got uh, a little mark on the right side of his yep. cheek, does Chan Sung, and maybe from a left hook from uh, Roop. Look at the least amount of energy that Jung is ex exhibiting. I mean, he's just standing there in the middle waiting for Roop to do something, and then he counters. Yeah, he just walks forward into the storm. He, he, his hands aren't even that high either. It's kind of like, um, in a way, he kind of wants to get hit, so he starts fighting harder. Nice feint, gets in on the clutch, releases. As we saw in this last fight, once he got tagged by Leonard, like then, out came the zombie. He really started fighting harder. George Root bringing the big overhand right. Where's nice that left jab. jab. If I were Troop's corner, I'd tell him just establish that jab. He's throwing a lot of overhand rights without jabbing first. But if he could keep popping that jab and get uh, Jung to think about that, that's going to open up the home for that right hand. Good counter body kick by uh, Jung there. Roop had a little bad luck in his last fight. Uh, Leonard Garcia, a fight he really won, but he had a point deduction and went to the cards. It ended up being a draw. Tell you what, George Roop has fought some tough characters his last three fights in the WEC. Eddie Wineland, Leonard Garcia, and now the Korean Zombie. 
Yeah, and that fight with Wineland was at 135 pounds. Right. That was just too big of a cut for him. He, you could tell he had no strength left. And, uh, you know, he's six foot one. So even at 145, he's going to be a really tall guy. That 135 just wasn't a good idea for him. The Korean fire, calm, collected, stepping forward, getting in range. Yeah, just so calm, almost like he's in a trance. So he's trying to get Rook to relax too and lull him into something. And there's that jab. I'd be throwing that all day if I were Rook. Rook doing a nice job of jabbing, moving left and right. Not giving the Korean Zombie anything to hit. He is. He's starting to use his reach a little bit better. So at the beginning, he was throwing big overhands. A lot of power punches. Now they're slugging it out. Now he's stancing around in his toes, trying to lose his... Yeah, they're just throwing the jab, throwing the straight, getting out of the way of shots. Under a minute to go here in round number one. This one's scheduled for three. Jung in the green trunks. George Root in the black. There by John. <laughs> Jung does not look like he's spending a lot of energy. He lands a no. stiff jab there. I wonder if he's trying to, you know, maybe get Rook to, 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 to wear himself down a little bit so he could pour it on in the later rounds. Kind of like Hominick did in the first round against Garcia. Coming up on the final 10 seconds here in round number one from Broomfield, Colorado. Jung in the green trunks, Roop in the black trunks, and we will see a second round when we return to Broomfield after this short break. Back in Broomfield, the Birdman has landed. Chris Anderson and the Tap Out crew guys. sitting cage side in a good one here in the featherweight division. Round number two, George Roop in the black trunks. Jung of Korea in the green trunks. Wow, big stiff left hand jab from George Roop. Yeah, see Roop circling, circling, trying to get Jung to run into something. He did earlier, ran into a stiff jab. Using his footwork pretty well. Jug's kind of playing into his hands. He just keeps following him. And his hands aren't that high. Stefan, i got to ask you, are you like me? Are you waiting for Jung to, to unleash the dragon or the Korean zombie that we saw in the Leonard Garcia fight? Yeah, I really am. You know, maybe this is the way to beat Jung. Just run around and jab him. Don't, don't hit him too hard. Oh, wow. good high kick there. See that delayed kick. Wow, right. That looked like shin upside the head. Jung just walked right through it. There comes the zombie. Overhands, uppercut. There we go. Punches. Korean zombie has awoken. And Roop wisely backs out of that one, resets. <laughs> and it's just the craziest stance. So look, I mean, he's not dancing, he's not moving, he's just... Inching forward, just, inching forward. Yeah, relax, just slowly plodding forward. And really, that was the biggest output we've seen from Jung, and it was yeah. right after Root landed that eye kick. So maybe you don't want to hit this guy too hard. Run around, jab him, don't hit him too hard, and you'll never uh, anger him enough to, to, to fight you hard. kick by George Roop. He landed the right one a little before that, and Jung was out before he hit the ground. Devastating knockout by George Roop. Oh my goodness, George Roop at 6-1, climbed the ladder. Watch this. Look at this, comes back with that left right under the chin. Let's listen at real speed. Oh, listen to that smack right under the chin. You can't hit a guy in a more perfect place than that. And Jung was out before he hit the ground. And George Roop says what he came here to do to finish Jung and be the only